Hey, Double Springs Church family and youth. Uh, it's been uh, a strange time. Uh, it's been a stressful week. Uh, this is why the announcement I'm about to make is why I had to cancel last night. It's just kind of been uh, talking a lot, weighing our options, talking to the Youth Advisory Council. Uh, but sadly, I have to announce that we won't be attending CASEL this year. Uh, let me kind of break it down exactly the process to which to how we got here. Um, so about a month ago, you guys know that uh, I called, uh, I sent text messages, and we talked on Zoom, and just talked about how Casual had confirmed that they were going to have camp this year. Um, for those of you that don't know, Be Do Tell uh, is who runs the programming, the worship, and the music. They are separate from Camp Caswell. Camp Caswell provides the facilities, the housing, the food. Um, and so Be Do Tell, about a week and a half ago, decided to cancel uh, their programming. They felt that it was the best. Um, they wanted to avoid large gatherings. Uh, and this was due to uh, concerns expressed by the state convention, uh, by different church groups, uh, different ministers, um, and also uh, it just you know following along CDC guidelines and recommendations. So once this decision was made, I didn't announce it to anyone except for my youth advisory committee because I wanted to weigh our options about doing our own thing and going to Caswell. Uh, but once we we discussed it, we talked about it, uh, just a lot of feedback and response, which I'm very grateful for. Um, we realized that we would need to follow the church, the the CDC guidelines and recommendations, uh, just to you know keep the church safe and myself and other leaders safe from liability, um, and we want to keep you guys safe. Uh, it's, that is our main priority: is to keep you guys safe while having um, a fun experience where we grow closer to Christ. And so we came to this point and I I could sit here and list all the factors, but there's a ton of them. Uh, we weighed all our options. I. Sh you know, this week has been pretty stressful. I've tried to figure out every possibility um, that would have us to go. Uh, I know that there's a ton of um, kids, a ton of youth, a ton of parents I've already talked to, that they're, the youth don't really want to go if there's not programming. Uh, so we were already lessened our numbers. Um, but I was fighting and trying for options for us to go. Uh, but once the Youth Advisory Council and I sat down and really talked about it, we all agreed, uh, it was unanimous, that this was just um, almost a near impossible task uh, to keep you guys safe, to follow the guidelines, while also, um, you know, being given room to have fun and giving room to grow. So all that said, I just wanted you guys to know that this was not a rash decision. This was a... Um, a difficult decision that was thought out, that was lengthy, um, but, you know, it's okay. Um, there are worse things that could happen. It stinks. Yes, I'm saddened just as much as you guys, and we're not able to attend. Um, but that gives us more opportunities for more uh, overnight trips and camps, uh, maybe even late August into the fall. Uh, you know, we are... Um, Considering coming back and doing outdoor youth activities, uh, which really would just, you know, be us so we can be outdoors and socially distanced and still um, learn about Christ and just spend time together, fellowship and have fun. Um, so I do want to say that our first uh, gathering, youth gathering back will be uh, at Steve Green's place uh, at the creek. Um, I'll get details to you later. Uh, about the time and the place and what you need to bring, um, what what measure, what safety measures we'll be taking, um, uh, but it will be June 28th. We do know that that is the date. Um, again, I apologize. Uh, I know that this stinks. Um, if you guys have any questions or concerns, um, anything like that, we're going to be talking tonight on Zoom. So join us, parents. Uh, and you've joined us, and we're going to talk about kind of, you know, where where do we go from here? What is the youth group going to look like until we get back into normalcy, where we can meet indoors, um, and that sort of thing? Uh, so if you uh, have any questions, any concerns, uh, any comments, 
Um, don't be afraid to text uh, text me or call me at 704-477-7498. Or if you prefer email, you can email me at knally at gardener-web.edu. Uh, so we'll see you guys. Uh, hope to see you guys tonight. Bye.